description, but also I will link to the group run from Strava below in the description, okay? Friday, November 5th, 10 a.m. And we're back. There it is, the A6. I'm just realizing though, hold on. Time out, time out. I need to move this mat. Hold on, there we go. Whoo, I stand on a mat here to save my legs, a little extra cushion in the Studio 1.5, and to save my legs for the New York City Marathon all a week away. Everybody cannot wait, which is why I'm wearing my East Harlem United Runners hat. I believe, ooh, it was not at all. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. Is it Eduardo? I'm so sorry if uh, he basically has this running group in East Harlem sent me this hat and he is going to be along with I think a lot of other people at the New York City Marathon group run in Central Park. Here are the details on your screen. Okay, there they are uh, the time the location, but also I will link to the group run from Strava below in the description, okay? Friday, November 5th, 10 a.m. Central Park at these basketball courts just south of the reservoir, the Jackie Onassis uh, Reservoir, Kennedy Reservoir, okay? It's just south of the reservoir, right next to this uh, NYPD precinct in Central Park. It's kind of, all the details are linked down below. Can't wait to meet all of you, hang out. We're gonna do a three mile jog, so two laps around the reservoir on the bridal path, 10 a.m. on Friday for the new year, it's coming. Oh, I can't wait, I'm ready. I'm getting a little, getting a little antsy in the studio, but not before giving you my thoughts on the ASICS Dynablast 2. For the fit, we made it to 50. In fact, there it is. I think we went over 50 by a little bit, 57-ish, okay. So a neutral road running shoe, the little brother or sister to the Nova Blast, all right? So it's the Dynablast 2. I will try my best to link to the Dynablast 1 review from 2020, upper right hand corner, eight millimeter, wow. Flock of geese, it is twisting, maybe even more than the Nova Blast, which is very, very interesting. Eight millimeter drop, 33 in the heel, 25 in the forefoot for a medium stack height. Women's size eight, men's size nine on your screen. Let's just confirm in my size. I think we're just over eight ounces. Let's just see here. Oh, hold on. Next mode, one second. We don't want that. 232 grams, 8.1, 8.2 ounces in my size. Pretty solid for a daily trainer shoe, which is the category I am putting it into. For that upper, we're looking at a circular knit. It's not an engineered mesh. We'll come back to that knit here in a second. I'll just say not the highest on the breathability scale. Let's do the, okay, some, a little bit of strength, but not built like a tank in the heel counter. And let's just remind, yeah, not as semi-gusseted. And so the tongue is interesting. It's, uh, first of all, it does not extend down into the toe box as far as some other shoes that I've tested recently. And it's, uh, so it's a little shorter, it's, it's long. Can you see how wide it is on top? Kind of unique, but I have to say, I kind of like it. In fact, I almost love it. This tongue just was very comfortable on top of the foot. Great, well, yeah, so, okay, solid lockdown. I'm not gonna say great, solid lockdown. There is the score, um, eight out of 10. It's just, I just felt comfortable and secure with the lockdown, all right? And the heel pocket, a great, okay, gotta be careful, a, a solid heel pocket as well. I would put the Nova Blast 2 in the great category with respect to the heel pocket. Lockdown, um, now, the reason, okay, the overall score is getting a ding because of this knit. It just feels a little antiquated at this point to have this type of knit on any, any road shoe. Now, with respect to the engineered mesh versus knit, 
discussion. The reason why the Nova Blast 2 price point is where it's at versus the uh, the the Dyna Blast. You know, that's where, you know, companies have to save money in certain areas. And so that's why this guy, I'll just tell you right now, why not? A hundred dollars. That's amazing, everybody. So Dynablast 2, good work there. And let's move on to that midsole. Flight Foam Blast midsole has dropped down to eight millimeters, which is great for a little more of a responsive feel through the... Uh, foot strike and the overall biomechanics and I gotta say I'm in love with that durometer great job I'm gonna you know not too soft it's not as bouncy as the um as the Nova Blast not even close it's moving in the right direction okay so ride and energy return um I, I can't I am comparing it a little bit to the Nova Blast it's not quite in the sevens 6.75 out of 10 and the reason the Overall score is in the sevens is because of the durability. I think the midsole is gonna last and last um, just the midsole. So when I do an overall durability prediction, I can't take shoes to 300, 400, 500 miles. Um, some of you can, if you can submit photos, you know where to submit photos down below in the description. Um, I think this guy is gonna go at least Four to 500 for just the life expectancy of the midsole not to mention the outsole in fact let's dive in this is why I said little brother or little sister at the beginning it's got a little eensy teensy uh, little baby decoupled groove on the outsole which I like and it's a solid outsole actually it's very reminiscent of the Nova Blast it's just not as accentuated can I use that word as far as the um, as far as the, all these words, as far as the decoupled groove, but overall, I'm actually pretty pleased with that outsole. True to size for the fit, maybe a little on the narrow side through the toe box. Keep that in mind. Comfort score, seven out of 10, all around solid. Um, but it's, again, it's, it's not as bouncy as the Nova. Uh, positives and drawbacks got to be the the comfort of the tongue i know it's kind of great i don't say that too too often i just really enjoyed the tongue on the dynablast drawback is the knit upper just a, you know i would never take this shoe on a vacation to mexico or to you know where i went with my family six months ago or to um anywhere really really humid and hot it just would be a little too warm that knit upper uh durability prediction overall 500 miles okay who is the best for classic daily trainer pinching pennies let's get those coins fired up hundred dollar price point that's what i'm talking about unbelievable eight out of ten and listen i really do think you're gonna get at least 400 miles but maybe even 500 miles out of this shoe for a hundred dollars that's pretty awesome. And again, ooh, if anybody who's, raise your hand in the comments, who's a Dynablast fan, who owns it, who has taken it, I'm gonna say past 400 miles. Could you send me photos via Twitter, on Instagram, somehow get a hold of me, uh, info at demoreglobalrunning.com, you could do that too. And I would love to see photos of a Dynablast past 400 miles other shoes to buy on your screen i tried to pick some shoes that were on sale or affordable right now putting into a generalized similar category for daily trainer all right there they are on your screen the hoka rincon 2 the top one there it's um it is it's softer it's um it's a different ride but it is on sale right now, just so you are aware. Most are listed on DemoreGlobalRunning.com. Here we go. Dyna Blast 2, quick specs. One more time for you. 8 millimeter drop. All right, circular knit, which is my drawback. But, you know, it's comfortable. It's just like it's a little heavy, a little thick for my liking. Now, 50 mile full review. Solid. 7.4 out of 10. All right, not the upper 7s. With anything around 7.5, you know, that's that kind of that average score, I'm pleased. Not doing backflips in the studio, 1.5, but we are pleased. I almost said out here. I caught myself down here in the basement. Onward and upward, let's put this over there. Comment of the day, being pulled 
from the Dynablast 1, okay? Again, link to all these up right hand corner or down below in the description. Steve Mindrup, yes, a member of the channel, solid man down in Florida. Uh, thanks, Steve, for all the support of, support of the channel. Oh, man, he's amazing, Steve. So he's actually, well, I better not say it yet because it's a big app. I'm not even going to go there. It's a, it's a good thing. He's working on something for DGR. I'm just going to put it that way. Steve says, midsole durability, it has to be able to retain its life with the outsole durability. I like that. I just ordered my second pair of Nova Blasts, and my heart dropped at the title of this video. But glad to hear your conclusion. First pair bought off of your review and just finished putting 800 miles on those with minimal wear. That is awesome, Steve. Thank you. You get the comment of the day okay almost november all right or maybe when this public you know almost november what is one goal you have for your running in the month of november 2021 just one goal what is one goal you have maybe it's to stay healthy maybe it's to turn the doorknob once maybe it's to take a break maybe it's to foam roll Maybe it's something. All right. That is the question of the day. Thanks for tuning in. Onward and upward. We will toss it to the Dynablast 1 review. I don't know if we got it to 50. I can't actually remember. All right. You go tell me. Asics Dynablast 1. Right there. Right there. Right there. All right. Here we go. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. See you tomorrow.